so in this video you are going to learn how to create this realistic apple in ibis paint as a beginner all i want you to do is follow along with me and don't worry about what tool does what so now grab all your stuff and let's get started pick up any airbrush and decrease the size of the brush so that it appears like this now try and draw the shape of the apple in one go even if it's not perfect just let it be we are going to be erasing the imperfect parts and draw them again and still if you're not really able to get the perfect shape for the apple you can always pick an image of the apple from the internet and then you can place it right here and trace over it now just start adding the little apple details like I'm doing right here in the video. You just have to follow what I'm doing here in the video. Once you're happy with the apple shape, take the similar brush and go over the basic sketch we just created once again just to darken up those outlines. This will help us in creating a nice shadow around the apple later on. Now pick up this color and by the way, I'll be giving you guys the palette down in the description. So just go ahead and check that description out now you have to fill in this apple shape with this color that's the second step you just have to fill it in and also you have to make sure if there are any mistakes especially around the edges if the color is spilling out you have to make sure you are perfecting it you're just erasing it out and cleaning old parts cleaning out the edges that is the second step so a good rule of thumb is to actually start filling in the color in the middle part of the shape with a larger sized brush and when we move closer to the edges just decrease the size of the brush so that we are not really messing it all up around the edges and it's easier to fill the color in around the edges with a smaller sized brush now on the layer where you fill the color enable alpha lock it helps in preventing spilling out any color out of the shape like this now pick up this orange color in this step we are going to get started with creating the shadows and the highlights and for that what you have to do you have to pick up these specific colors as i am picking up in this video follow along and just add that color where i'm adding that color on that specific apple shape the next color is grayish version of this orange and i'm going to be adding this color right here and then pick up white color and add that color right here and don't worry about it being perfect now pick up this pink color and add it right here again you can use any brush for this it doesn't matter because we are going to be smudging it out blending it out later now pick up this dark brownish kind of color and i'm going to be adding this right at the bottom of the apple this will actually help in creating this illusion of like a shadow at the right at the bottom of the apple again you don't have to be perfect with this just create this little shape this little brush stroke it's really easy again picking up this pink color and adding it right here i picked up this color right next to the pink color and i started adding it right here again the shape does not have to be perfect i was going back and forth with the shape i was creating over this apple but it doesn't have to be perfect we're just trying to create some lights and some shadows on the apple so i picked up this color and it wasn't dark enough so i actually darkened it up a little bit using the color wheel and i added that color right here then i picked up this dark brown kind of color and i added it around the edge of the apple then I picked up a bright red color and I added that color right here. Now select your smudge brush and with that smudge brush pick up this specific brush. You can actually pick up any brush you want. Now before smudging and blending you have to make sure that the opacity is low and you can always play around with the opacity. You can increase it, you can decrease it depending on how effective the brush is. If you're not really able to blend the colors out that good, you can always increase the opacity of the brush a little bit. That's it. You don't have to know everything. You just have to get started with digital art to actually learn it. Okay, so here I'm just blending it all out and the way to do it is, is to actually just stay on the edges of the old colors that we added on the apple and smudge it in circular motions and you'll be able to blend it nicely this will give us a nice base for shadows and highlights we can work with and we can build upon 
Once you're done with that, you have to go back to the layer where we created the outline for the apple, the darkened outline for the apple. Then now pick up your smudge tool and start blending that outline out a little bit. You have to make sure you're not blending it all out, but because we want something there. So just make sure you are blending it out really lightly. And the key to do that is to actually have a brush with really low opacity. Now create a new layer and enable clipping mask clipping mask is similar to alpha lock here we are just able to create a new layer and start we can start adding shadows and highlights in a different layer and we'll still be just coloring in that specific shape the shape of the apple if that makes any sense so here I'm picking up this pink color and I'm adding this right in the middle of this apple. After adding that pink color right in the middle of the apple, I changed the layer mode to soft light. I also decreased the layer opacity. Yes, if something is too much, you can always go back to the layer and decrease the opacity of that specific layer. Now I'm creating another layer with clipping mask and here we are going to be adding more dark colors. I started by adding more dark brown right at the bottom bottom of that apple and because it was looking way too much I added a little bit of red color over that brownish kind of color again I was really light-handed with my brush strokes hence the reason why we won't be needing any blending or smudging later on I added a little bit of that dark brown color here as well just to add more shadows around the apple i also add a little bit of this red color around the dark brown stroke that i just did right in the middle of that apple now on a completely new layer you and you don't have to enable clipping mask here pick up a really bright orange color and now you have to start adding these little dots over this apple because we do see these little yellowish orangish dots on an apple so that's what we are trying to recreate right here once you're happy with the dots pick up your smudging tool again and make sure the opacity is low by the way and just go over these little dots really lightly again we don't want to blend or smudge it all out to the point where we cannot even see it you just have to lightly touch those dots with your smudging and blending tool so that it's not looking that harsh but it, it's kind of merging with the apple itself if that makes any sense so that's what i'm doing right here again just decrease the size of the brush so that you can be really precise and really just focus on those little dots now create another layer and pick up white color and i'm using that white color and going to be adding it right here once I was happy with the placement of the color I went back and picked up smudge brush and blended it out a little bit now on the similar layer I am creating this highlight this little shape with that highlight with this white color I'm using airbrush because airbrush helps in creating this these shapes with soft edges that's what I'm doing right here and because it was looking too much I picked up my smudge brush and blended it out just a little bit and if you want you can leave the highlight as it is but for me it was a little too much so I went ahead and decreased the opacity of that specific layer. The next step is to create another layer and place it right at the bottom of all other layers that we have. Here we are going to be creating a shadow right underneath this apple. And here I'm using a black color. Just start adding it and don't worry about it being perfect because again, we are going to be blending it out with this much brush like this. And then I also add a little bit of that dark color right at the bottom of that apple as well. And in the end, I went back to my highlight. I changed the layer mode to add. The layer mode add actually brightens up the specific color that you have placed on that shape. And I also decreased the layer opacity a little bit. So yeah, you are done with the apple. That's how easy it was to create and shade an apple, a realistic looking apple. So I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I would love to see your results so go ahead and follow me on instagram and tag me on your artwork i would love to see that other than that i will see you guys in my next video